Hi everybody and welcome back. This is the Reef Life and uh, I'm Dutch Reefer, so welcome back to this new video. Um, while the title might seem a little bit more uh, uh, exaggerated than it actually is, but some things happened during the Christmas weekend, or at least the weekend I was away to a Christmas market in Germany. Um, so I know Christmas is still two weeks away, but uh, I thought it was a catchy title and uh, uh, let me walk you through this uh, this story. So uh, we uh, went uh, on a small holiday uh, on Thursday and we just returned home uh, about two hours ago and uh, my mom uh, looked after the tank which she usually does when we're away for the weekend so that's uh, very nice of course she knows the basics she knows when something's up with the flow or with the skimmer or with uh, well just the general stuff the refill the RODI water um, so she did ask me this weekend is the flow okay and uh, she sent me a video and I was like hmm well it's not it's not that much flow so but it seems okay as long as the gyre controller is working and everything is fine um, but then I came home today and uh, apparently not everything is fine since two of my uh, favorite corals uh, actually died over the weekend so that's very sad to see and to uh, well to witness I'll zoom in on them uh, in a moment but uh, you can see them from here already which is of course a pity uh, I did just do water measurements before uh, I left uh, home on Thursday or actually on Friday I think we left in the morning um, so I did my water measurements everything seemed okay um, I did some adjustments um, but nothing too uh, shocking um, my nitrates and phosphates were 13 and 0 0.12 so the phosphates were a little bit on the rise so I did uh, started adding a little bit more vodka and vinegar but that didn't lead to any bacterial bloom or, or something like that so that should not have impacted uh, the tank uh, at all um, and it doesn't seem like it so uh, the windows were well a bit dirty when I came home but nothing you couldn't expect after being away for a couple of days so there was a bit of green algae on the on the glass but it was just minor uh, the, the pH was at 7.7 .7. the cal carbonate uh, uh, the alkalinity I mean was at 7.7 uh, .7. so also I mean 8.7 apologies so they're of course a bit related so 8.7 is not too high for uh, alkalinity but well it's not too bad either I added a bit uh, on top of the regular dosing to get it up to uh, 9, 9.5 and, and the calcium was at 4.99 now I'm not sure if I need to take that uh, seriously that, that reading since my Triton ICP test said it was on the low side I did add some calcium after that um, so but nothing I didn't add any any or adjusted the dosing of that so that couldn't have triggered anything and the magnesium was a bit low at 1400 I like it a bit higher so I did add some magnesium sulfate uh, and some magnesium hydrate I think it's a bit you can mix them together and uh, so to up the magnesium a bit the salt uh, was at 1.026 so nothing too uh, weird there either uh, but still somehow uh, two of uh, two of my pretty favorite corals uh, well they they withered away so I'm not sure if it was a lack of flow or something else is fundamentally wrong within the tank maybe it's the uh, it's the it's the nutrients after all I mean they are a bit on the high side uh, my phosphates were at 0 0.03 and now they're at 0 0.12 so that's a four times increase in just a couple of months I think two months ago that it was still that low or maybe even one month ago so that could explain a bit and other than that maybe the uh, the nitrates but then again having a nitrate of 10 isn't too bad either uh, usually regularly so yeah not sure maybe it's the flow maybe it's the water parameters I did adjust uh, the flow today uh, so as you can see it's a bit more uh, it's, it's moving a bit more now maybe that was the trigger maybe it was a nutrients which I also adjusted using the uh, dosage of my vodka and vinegar mix but we'll see luckily not all corals have been impacted it's just two but then again they were two really nice ones 
And the first is the Raja Rampage chalice that I had right here. As you can see, it's a, a beautiful skeleton right now, uh, which already started uh, algaing up a bit, uh, I think. So it must have died like two days ago. Uh, otherwise, uh, there wouldn't have been any algae on it uh, yet. So it, it declined pretty rapidly after I left. So maybe it was due to the magnesium addition. Maybe it was due to uh, to go anyway, and it was just unlucky that I wasn't home for the weekend. But anyway, it's gone now, uh, beyond saving. There's no tissue left. Uh, so yeah, that's gone. And of course I can just buy another one, but uh, I'll just, uh, I'd rather just have my tank being stable first before uh, adding another precious uh, coral in there, uh, which might eventually die again. Uh, so as you can see, the other corals surrounding it do pretty okay. Uh, the Zoantas, uh, but we'll get that to that in a minute, are doing fine. The Goniopora or Alveopora right here is okay. Uh, the uh, Ricordea that are situated here all look uh, pretty decent and okay. At least not worse than they were before. Uh, and the Trachyphilia also, um, well, they just showed a regular shine. Uh, the Weeping Willow in the back. So nothing out of the ordinary actually, except this pesky little chalice dying on me. Oh well. And then another one, and I must say this with a big sigh, uh, because the um, the Montipora that I had here um, has also, uh, it was a really beautiful uh, orange and yellow Montipora uh, right here. I think it's called a uh, Beach Bum Montipora. And uh, yeah, that also withered away. Also, also already a bit of algae on the skeleton, so I guess they uh, they went at the same time, uh, which is uh, yeah, that's uh, fairly uh, annoying to see uh, that uh, two of uh, two of these beautifully coraled uh, colored corals are now gone. Uh, luckily, there's colors enough left, uh, but still. Uh, apparently it's a sign that something is up with the water or the flow or both and uh, I'm not sure what um, especially since this chalice right here doesn't seem to be impacted at all at least not not yet I hope it doesn't it looks uh, the same as it did uh, before uh, so uh, yeah not too sure why they perished um, and that's uh, especially annoying because if you don't know what uh, what caused something, uh, then there's not much you can do either to uh, to fix it. So yeah, what I'll try to do is uh, up my uh, vodka vinegar dosing, try to keep the water flow uh, a bit more stable over the coming uh, weeks, and uh, yeah, maybe even consider uh, changing the flow. I'm not sure yet. Um, I did like the. AI Neros that I had before these gyres. I have three of them in this tank, uh, which seemed uh, the AI Nero 5, which seemed quite sufficient for this uh, this size tank. Um, but not sure yet. Uh, let's see how these gyres do uh, before changing uh, those, because again, that's an expensive operation. Uh, but uh, yeah, if uh, if that's what it needs to change, then that's what's need to change. So let's see what uh, what happens this week. Let's see if more corals start giving up, or that it uh, was merely a coincidence or a slight disbalance in something, uh, because I'm not sure uh, yet. Um, other than that, uh, the skimmer has been working like it should, uh, so it's uh, just emptied it. It was uh, all full about. Uh, 20% when I came home. Uh, did set it to a little more wet skimming uh, because it, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's obviously doing better at removing nutrients when it's skimming a little more wet. And the roller mat is also still doing uh, doing its job pretty well. Uh, you can see it looks clean. I just replaced the carbon last week, uh, so uh, yeah, not quite sure. Everything in the the uh, filtration department seems to do uh, just fine, so I don't think anything's up with anything is up with that. 
uh, the dosing pump is also working uh, fine. I checked that, of course. Um, so yeah, the cause has to be somewhere in here. <laughs> I'm not sure yet what it is. Uh, I did order those uh, uh, those diffusers for the radions uh, that I talked about last week. They haven't uh, came in yet through the mail. I expect them this week. Uh, so I'll add them uh, as well to get a little bit more evenly distributed light across the tank. Uh, maybe I'll uh, even put the lights a bit higher. I'm not sure yet. Maybe it's a bit too much on the lighting side. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's try out some things uh, before uh, uh, resorting to uh, more uh, severe measures. Not sure what those should be, but uh, let's just first try to uh, get it stabilized again uh, with the well, the regular options that we just uh, discussed in this video. So yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to share with you this week. Um, I'm glad that the fish and inverts in the tank are doing uh, fine. Um, so yeah, that's uh, one of the most important things, of course, that uh, uh, the, the living creatures, I don't know, corals also live, uh, but of course the fish, uh, they, uh, well, I'm always glad when I see them in, uh, in good shape. So thanks for watching, um, please uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you have any questions regarding this video or my reef tank in general, feel free to, uh, to ask in the comments. I try to answer uh, each of the comments that's been that's placed under my videos, so feel free to do that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, uh, have a good week and uh, cheers.